The most important thing for us is to find a place really far from the roads and airplanes because we need a quiet forest. And in terms of the setting itself, it needs to be a flat ground with a lot of trees around, especially branches on the ground, falling trees, and we are looking for something like that. We found a perfect one in Epping Forest, but it was crazy. The airplanes were always moving like from 10 to 10 seconds uh, and we can't shoot there because of sound. Yeah, if we can shoot in a silent place, uh, it's much better. Yeah. My idea was actually let's do it in Epping because I thought it was a past perfect location for this film. Uh, so we decided to go to Epping straight away first Saturday after the meeting. Uh, which we went, a uh, ridiculous hour. Uh, I think I had to wake up uh, four o'clock in the morning. We went to the location, cold, rain, horrible, dark. We walked for hours. Craziness. I was like thinking in my head, oh my God, where did I took these people? They're gonna hate me because this is not the location. We were really tired and the last five minutes, I remember the director told, oh, I think we should climb this mountain. I, I think the location is over there. I, I was just thinking in my head, don't push him, don't push him. You know, he's the director. He needs to find a perfect spot. And we found the location. We were almost sure that we were going to film there, but we had a huge issue. Planes. Uh, so later we spoke with a sound guy and yeah, it was a problem. Next week we, we needed to find another location, so... We went to, I think, three or four places and we found the Black Park. So we are at Blackwoods and we have been all morning searching for the perfect spot for, for our film. In every place we pick, we do like a test scenes uh, for our films, we do test shots. Everything is so beautiful, everything is so perfect that to pick one out of all of this it's turning to be kind of difficult to me. That's why I need to go to to go home and and check and, uh, all the charts and, and all the location over, yeah. and think over it. Yeah. I arrived in London in October to 2016 with the goal of making movies in London. So uh, at some point I, I got uh, this script in, in my hand, four short scripts, and I, to and I, I told myself, no, you, you have to do it. You just have to do it no matter what. Rui sent me an email um, asking me if I can join the project, which I did. And later we started looking for a crew and, um, and the cast. Uh, the crew we found through the uh, online uh, like advertising. That's one of the beauties of cinema, how it can bring so many people together for one goal, which is to tell a story. And the, the same with uh, cast, which uh, thankfully helped us. Uh, it was help, uh, with help of Patricia, who is absolutely amazing casting director. It's always a stupid. No, they're not. That could really happen. Whatever. When someone's dead, they're dead. There's no coming back. There could be a disease or something. What kind of disease would make a zombie? No. No. Let's go get mum and dad. Stop it. Adam. Yeah, but Kevin knows they're not real. Maybe he does. We'll ask him when we get there. <sighs> Fight and whatever. But I'm sure if zombies were real, you'd probably start pissing yourself and start crying like a baby. There's one thing in cinema which says never work with kids or animals. I don't know about animals yet, but with kids, I don't know what, why they say that, because I, I had the chance to know Daniel, uh, Sunny and Hugo, and I mean, why do they say that? These kids are just maybe from out of this world, because it was such a pleasure to work with them. They are really smart for their age, they are amazing actors, they just had it. I think that he made a great job because he like co kind of connect with the, with the kids. The activities that he prepared before the rehearsal, uh, they, are, they were for them and for Rui also, because he also learned from the kids. We should get somebody Now you wait here. 
Yeah, right. Right, right, right. It's much better. That's well, much I lost her. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm always going like this. <laughs> so something like, I'm just going to get my Sh shouldn't we, shouldn't we go? And he says no. And you say, okay, so I'll go. Like, oh, was maybe, no, no, we should get like the authority or something like that. No, tr try just, no, we should go, something like that, you know? No, we should leave, no, we should go, no, we, we should go back, or we should go and call someone. Or maybe... No, let's just go home. Yeah, it's a yeah, yeah, something like that. Let's try, right, let's try. Right. Okay. I've enjoyed working with Rui um, because he, he made me learn Eric's character so well and the script and how I should act. He did it really well, to be honest. Like, I don't think you could have done it much better than he did. So, yeah, it probably wouldn't be as good if Rui wasn't, like, helping me out and telling me how to play Eric and stuff. What? what? What do you think chewed? Oh, we <laughs> forgot <laughs> So we haven't done this bit in ages. Yeah. It's, it's, it's really nice because it's really relaxed. It's a relaxed atmosphere, but you're getting a lot done while working with him. He, he's really enthusiastic about his work and everything he's doing, and that kind of comes on to you, and you really start to really enjoy what you're doing with him. Yeah. <laughs> I do halfway through I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> don't touch. <laughs> so I think that it was great to see the director working with the kids. After the rehearsal, the kids were more confident with each other and more confident with the director that it was really important. Sometimes I was talking to them and they were, they were talking to me. I, I was like thinking to myself, they are adults in, in, a, in a child's body. It, it was amazing how how good they are, how focused they are, how intelligent and smart they are. So I can't say enough about these kids and about their talent and about how committed they are because all of them, the three of them are just amazing and I will surely in the future miss them a lot. short film written by the incredible Joey Fiddler. Uh, it's a story about two kids walking the forest. Uh, they are going to his friend's house, uh, Kevin, and they, uh, the little one who, who dreams a lot is telling his older brother that uh, zombies are real. So he has real passion for this, so he, he really believes in them. And the old brother being older doesn't believe in those things. And, and something happens in the forest that I'm not going to say. It's mainly a story about the games you play in life as an adult or as a child. Uh, each game, each action you take can have consequences uh, and will have consequences. And, and Zombie is very much a story about that, about, about every, every choices you make in life, every games you play, every, every step you take in life will have an outcome. And, and zo Z Zombie is very much about that. Everyone is hoping for it. It's a surprise. All the people are going to love this short film because you never know what's happening into the end. Shooting is always stressful, always. Uh, no matter how prepared you are, no matter how much you put into it, uh, you'll never know what will happen. We didn't know most of the, of the crew, but it was two lovely days to, to, to go through. It was really, really stressful, um, especially that I am perf perfectionist, and for me it's like it has to be everything perfect. It's never is, obviously. It's never enough time, it's never enough everything. And it was amazing to see um, how far we went without knowing each other, but... We have learned from each other, too. I think that we have made a, like, family, how 
like it says, like in two days we met a lot of people, we met like family. You know what, that's one of the magics of cinema and mainly independent cinema, which is to, you go home thinking what a beautiful family we have built together just in two days. Two days shooting were, was just amazing and the, and the crew is it's amazing. Every one of them knew what to do, uh, was the right person for, for the job and, and I'm really grateful for them, really, really grateful. And in the end, it was amazing. And but actually, on Monday when I came to my regular job, I felt this calmness, and I felt like, wow, this is a, it was a good high, and now I'm just calm. So it was amazing, amazing feeling. Even if they were real, I bet you a million. Reset, reset, reset. But Daniel, Daniel. Once, once you enter the, the, the small path, go behind one, okay? Quiet on set, please. Six, take two. Ready? Guys, just say okay. We need to be wider. We have to clearly see the, the kid standing, uh, Adam, and go. Yeah, I, th I think it's better. Yeah, I think it's better. Yeah. 